Good morning, Western Slope. I'm your meteorologist, Barrett Vinson. It feels great to be back on the Western Slope, but of course, Mother Nature's throwing us for a loop today with the weather. So let's go ahead and break it down and what we're going to see today. Showers already on the way. We've seen some showers already initiate here in the Grand Valley, as well as some isolated systems this morning. We're going to be seeing clouds and cooler temperatures for today. Beautiful temperatures. We're just going to be watching out for some isolated thunderstorms. Everything is going to be on the table with these storms. Increased wind potential, maybe even some hail in the higher elevations. Not necessarily here in the Grand Valley, but We've seen some hail the past few weeks, so we can't rule that out. We're starting off the morning uh, with those clear conditions earlier. Now we're seeing some showers start to develop right off of the Mesa. So Palisade could be seeing these showers kind of get backed up on that Mesa, that classic valley setup. We could be seeing some of that heavier rainfall this morning over to the eastern part of the valley. Not necessarily here in Grand Junction just yet, but we will be seeing potential later on. We are seeing this high pressure off to the southern plains. What this is doing is it's moving in moisture from the south. This is that monsoonal moisture we rely on to get us out of those drought conditions. So this is that classic setup of that conveyor belt of moisture from that monsoonal moisture eventually turning into showers. What this is doing is it's hiking up those humidity values, moving in moisture. We can test that by taking a look at those current temperatures, 70s and 60s, nice waking up this morning to those warm conditions and then Dew points in the 50s, that's about 15 degree temperature difference, and that's why we're seeing that little bit of a muggy wake up this morning. 40s in Grand Junction, you'll notice an increase in the higher elevations of that humidity value as well, so you might not have to put on as much lotion today, believe it or not. That moisture will hydrate your skin. That was one thing I noticed about moving out west is that uh, everything's so much drier out here. And, well, with that shower potential today, we're not going to be seeing those dry conditions. Hopefully that will get us out of those drought conditions that we've been seeing. But we're going to be watching out for cold fronts that are going to go ahead and push through. Here, I'll go back to that for y'all. You can see that cold front pushing through in the early afternoon today. That's when we're going to see the most potential for those stronger storms. However, as far as what we can expect, nothing for widespread, mostly just isolated thunderstorms. So at some point today, you'll go outside, look off into the distance and see those showers. And if you're feeling an increase in wind speeds, you can expect to see maybe some storm potential right around where you are. Most of that storm potential is going to be in the higher elevations off to the east and the central mountains, as well as the southern part of the state, including the Incompagre Plateau and the Incompagre Valley. We'll be watching out for some hail in the higher elevations, mostly just increased wind speeds from this here in the lower elevation valleys, but uh, heavy precipitation will not... <clears throat> be out of the forecast today. You could be seeing lightning strikes as well. We've seen some lightning strikes already on America's Mattress Live Tower Cam. We're going to see this storm potential move off to the east as we get into tomorrow, but aerial flood watches are going to be in effect today with heavy precipitation falling. We're already seeing that precipitation off to the east over in Palisade, kind of over by white water as well. This is going to be uh, kind of the case with those dense clouds throughout the day today. Mid 70s as we're waking up and as we take a look ahead at that discovery audit those seven day forecast temperatures in the 80s before 90s take us into Wednesday with sunny skies for a beautiful day for the 4th of July as far as weather is concerned. Montrose slightly cooler remaining in the lower 80s before warming up from there by the mid work week with sunshine taking over after shower 